Hello and welcome to the channel Phoenix Kia Tarot. Today we're just going to pull cards and see whatever comes out, okay? So if you've resonated with the title, then this will be your reading, regardless of when you've actually seen it. The titles that I use have always come from something that I actually said during the reading. There are no clickbait titles on my channel, okay? Right, so what's going on for you guys? What's going on for the collective, please? What's going on for the collective? What does the collective need to know? Scarcity tactics. Okay, so that's like the five of coins energy. Um, that could be you feeling a bit down in the dumps, or that could be someone else that you're dealing with feeling a little bit down in the dumps. Uh, the scarcity tactics, that could also be like a fear of missing out as well. Okay, fake flexing, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, showing off, etc. Oh, okay, so someone's flashing the cash that they don't actually have here, collective. Somebody is putting a lot of time, energy and effort into impressing other people with uh, materialistic stuff and they don't actually have the means to pay for that kind of lifestyle. Okay, um, yeah, that could well be someone trying to impress you, collective. Okay. Listen, I've always said if someone has to shout, then they've got nothing of value to actually say. All right. That's that energy right there. The fake flexing. So they're shouting out, oh, look, I've got this, that and the next. And, you know, they're overcompensating, basically. Curious about you. Ego. Okay. Her ego, ego getting in the way of relationship. I do feel, collective, that this is someone who's taken a bit of a shine to you. They're trying to impress you. They're not... Now, it's not that you're arrogant, okay? So do keep that in mind while I say the next bit. It's... it's um, they're not at your level, so they're trying to fake being at your level. And then you've got fed up and an offer that's coming in. So you're sick and tired of these um, fake offers coming in from fake individuals. You're sick of being offered a lifestyle um, that, that's not actually theirs to offer. Um, I'm getting that someone's out on the dating scene here and they're just sick and tired of people lying to them, trying to impress them, you know, putting on a show, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the next, and actually they, they've got nothing to offer. Yeah, they're talking shit. They're talking shit. And then jackpot, winning money, got rich, inheritance and unexpected money. This could well be collective, someone who was at some point living off an inheritance, and they were living this lifestyle that they couldn't afford to upkeep. Okay, definitely a lot of overcompensation that's going on once you're back. Okay, so this person's wanting you back, collective. They they could be um, trying to impress you, as I say, with all this material stuff, thinking that that's how they're going to get you back. Threatening, intimidating, threatened and bothered. Okay, so they're, they're losing their temper now. They're getting really antsy, getting really itchy. Because obviously you, you're not interested in that particular offer, okay? You, you're looking or waiting for something that's more in alignment with you. Again, it's not you being arrogant, you being realistic. Like, you, you can see straight through this person, whoever they are. Moving on, thank you, next. Yeah, exactly. And then shine, your light irritates their demons. Yeah, um... So this individual's clearly impressed by you and the level that, that you've achieved in your life. They're clearly impressed by that. It's someone that you already know, someone who's wanting you back, but they know you're never going to look at them twice ever again because you, you've not only outgrown them, but it's like, why... I, again, it's, it's going to sound cold and quite awful the way that this message is coming through. But again, keep in mind that I, I can't think of a better way of putting this right now. You're not going to degrade yourself down to their level. Okay, listen, 
The reason why I say that, it's not because you've got the ego. It's not because you're arrogant. It's basically you know that this person's a liar. That's what I'm getting at. It's like, why would you degrade yourself into... Um, being with or being around someone who lies about who they are, lies about their qualifications or their successes or their ambitions in life. They're just lying, lying, lying to try and impress everyone else. Why would anybody in their right mind degrade themselves to have any kind of relationship, whether it be romantic, friend or otherwise, with that kind of person. You wouldn't, would you? And there's nothing arrogant or ignorant about that. Like, that's just straight up facts. Why would you want to associate yourself with a liar who fakes being successful? It's like, there's nothing wrong with not being successful, okay? There's nothing wrong with being a trier. But when they lie about being successful, that tells you everything that you need to know about their character, right? Everyone is trying to be successful in life. And no, not everybody is going to make it. But not everybody sits there, takes out bloody credit cards and this, that and the next, racks up all of these debts just so that they can pretend that they have this success that they clearly do not have. Like, what's, what, what is the thinking behind that? Nothing but pure ego. Nothing but pure ego. Red flags all over this person's energy, all over, and that's why you're moving on. So I challenge anyone to say, oh, that, that's arrogant, that is, that, that's you being egotistical. No, no, it isn't. It is not the collective being egotistical at all. They're being real. They're being realistic. When someone shows you red flags, listen to it, pay attention to it. When someone has lied about even the most ridiculous things, that, that is pointless lying about, what else would they lie about, you know? That's, that's what needs to be really paid attention to here. They've lied as well about winning the lottery for some of them. They've probably won like a tenner on the lottery and they told everyone it was 10 mil, you know, and it was 10 quid. Do you know what I mean? So it's like they exaggerate as well. Like, oh my God, do they exaggerate? Jeez. Okay. And clarify. One for two for this, please. Okay, the skeleton key. Yeah. Um, that one says truth, revelations, and discovery. To clarify the scarcity tactics and the fake flexing. So... Yeah, th this individual, <clears throat> th they're not going to be able to hold, to upkeep this lie for too, too long. There's there's no way. The toadstool, patience, perseverance, growth through hardship. Okay, so you've grown yourself through hardship, through sheer will and determination. They see your success, but they don't see everything that you had to put in to achieve that success. They they just think that, that you got that position, you know, just magically. They're a complete fantasist, this person, the planchette, yeah. Reaching out news and past influences. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, someone, this is definitely someone that you know quite well, Collective, someone from your past. Reaching out to you, showing off, this, that and the next. Ridiculous. I've never seen anything so childish in all my fucking life. The cattle. Communication, community and understanding. Yeah. Um, th there's a whole community of people here that know what this person is up to. All right. But again, they, they seem to think that they're the smartest one in the room. They seem to think that they have been able to trick everybody. But in actual fact, they, they haven't tricked anyone at all. OK, I, I, I do get the impression. And again, it sounds awful. I get the impression that people are laughing at this person behind their back. I, I do. I genuinely do. OK. And th this is what happens when you're not living authentically. This is exactly what happens. 
When someone doesn't live authentically, they start striving to be someone else and that never works. It's under there, the palm. Self-discovery, destiny and acknowledgement. Yeah, self-discovery. This person's got a lot of maturing and a lot of growing to do, okay? And I, I also don't like this energy here where it says, wants you back and then threatening. <sighs> I mean, I talk about entitlement. So this individual's got massive entitlement issues then as well. And that would explain a lot. They were probably very spoilt as a child. And as I said, if they did have some kind of an, uh, monetary inheritance, oh, they've burnt through that. That's all gone. What's going on here, please, for our collective? A strange read. What's going on for our collective, please? Nine of Wands. Yeah, stand your ground, stand up for yourself. Um, try not to let this individual... Uh, uh, how, how, to, how to explain this one? Try not to let this person steamroll through you. Okay, collective. I do get the strong impression that this person's coming in and they're going to try and dictate to you what to do, how to do, when to do it. Do you know what I mean? The Emperor. Yeah. That's you in your own uh, sovereign power because it's the Emperor. So remember that you're a sovereign being. You do not have to do anything that this little asshole tells you to or demands from you. Okay. They're like a spoiled, petulant child in an adult skin. Six of Cups. Yeah, that, that's someone that you know. That could be somebody that you're directly related to for some of you as well with the Six of Cups. It could be a sibling. You've got the Ten of Swords here. So there's already been some kind of ructions between you two. You've already walked away from this person. And this individual's like, how dare you? How oh, fuck me. Yeah, five of coins. Yeah, yeah. How, how dare you walk away from me, collective? Don't you know who I am? Ooh, yeah, bugger. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What else is going on? High Priestess, you felt this coming. You felt this person's energy. You felt them quite possibly trying to do something to screw up your own intuition as well. Yeah. You get brain fog whenever you're around this individual because everything's on overdrive. All of your senses are on overdrive whenever you're around this person and it gives you brain fog. As I said, they've probably done something to try and mess up with your own intuition as well. I wouldn't like to think some kind of energy manipulations, but it's always a possibility. The Ten of Wands. So they're expecting for you to do something here, Collective. They're expecting for you to be more involved. And then the King of Swords. Okay. Um, if anyone's interested in the Zodiac information, again, take it with a pinch of salt, okay, because that information is not going to be relevant for absolutely everybody. You've got Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Sag, and Aquarius. Okay. Um, but again, it's more to do with the energy anyway than it is the actual Zodiacs. <coughs> so... You've got guidance here, Collective. You've got very good guidance here that's coming through in this message. King of Swords and the Ace of Swords. When this person comes in, don't beat around the bush. All right? Speak your mind. Speak your truth. Be loud, be clear, and be concise. Make sure that everything that you have to say to this person 
is going to get the point across pretty quick in a non-abrasive manner. All right. If it's done in an abrasive manner or an argumentative manner, then they are going to try and twist that to suit themselves. Okay. So if you maintain a calm composure, say what you mean, mean what you say, and more importantly, stick to it as well. All right. You are a sovereign being, right? You have control and authority in your own life. Just because you share some kind of history with this person, or just because some of you happen to be related to this person, for those of you who are, through a series of unfortunate circumstances that were completely outside of your control, it still does not give them the right to try and steamroll through your life and dictate to you how you're going to live your life and what you're going to do for them and what you quote unquote owe them. Okay? Your advice is to pull back your energy from this individual and really pay attention to your physical body as well because your physical body's given off warning signs about this person constantly. Now, if this individual hasn't yet been um, revealed to you as being this one who is living a lifestyle that is not theirs to live because they haven't earned it. If, you, if you've got your suspicions about this person, then your suspicions are being validated right here. Okay. And there is going to be evidence to back that up with. You will find the evidence that, that you're needing, that this person is flashing cash that they don't actually have. Okay. Always pay attention to those who feel that they have to shout the loudest. Because normally, truly successful people, they actually tend to keep it under wraps quite a lot. Because they don't want people coming out of the woodwork to use them for whatever they can take. Most successful people are really quiet and humble about it. All right? They're not all flashy like that. No. No, 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 no. That's someone who's shouting because they've nothing of any real relevance to say. Interesting. The Eight of Swords underneath that one. Yeah. Yeah, the mental prison. And then the Six of Coins with the Five of Cups. But where have taken any kind of gift off this individual collective? If they offer you any kind of gift, it's going to come with some strings attached. It's also going to be fake. Okay, six of coins to the five of cups. Don't take anything off this person, whether it be something big or little. Even if it's something that is seemingly irrelevant at that point in time, still don't accept anything off of this person. Okay, two of cups under there. Death and rebirth and the star with the ace of wands and the four of coins. Yeah. Yeah, that feels a lot like someone trying to get back together with you there, Collective. It really does. I feel that they're trying to buy your affections also. Okay. Whew, that's a bit heavy. What guidance do you have for our Collective, please? What guidance do you have for our Collective? Inspired thoughts. Alignment brings incredible ideas, new thoughts, new decisions, new immediate action and new reality. So it's time for you to act on your inspired thoughts. All right. If you feel that you're spending too much time and energy um, trying to expose this particular person, then again, pull back from that, okay, because this person is being exposed. So you need to act on your own inspired thoughts. Oh, 
high vibes in flow state. Okay, so keep your vibes high. Go with the flow. Life surfing, yeah. Taking life's ups and downs as and when it comes. Work on your past programming as well. Any, any kind of uh, negative thoughts that you might be grappling with about yourself. That's come from your past programming. So it's time for you to work through that and, and put in new positive thoughts. Release attachments. Yeah, so that's all about being free from your expectations. Growing a success. Yes. Working on any limiting beliefs that you have. Trust in divine timing. Okay, trust in the process. And then you can start to restructure. Um, with this one as well, this can oftentimes imply that there's going to be some kind of drama that you're going to be a part of so that you can start clearing out certain individuals from your sphere of influence okay right well that is what i have for you if you resonate with that reading then please do let me know by dropping a like on the video okay and that also helps keep you engaged with the channel as well for further clarity or to check out your other signs then you can click on the playlist that appears at the top right hand side of the screen okay and of course personal readings they are available on my website which is phoenixkiataro.com the link for that you can find in the description box below okay right thank you so much much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!